Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Trail channel. Um, I thought in this video I'd um, kind of resurrect my old video of um, the sat do like a weekly smash. And I was calling it the Saturday Smash. Basically um, like a, a bits and pieces type video. Where I could, you know, let let people know what I'd been reading that week. What, I'd, what books I might have finished, what I was up to regarding books and that sort of thing, especially with um, <clears throat> if I've got any books coming in. And also it gave me a chance to just kind of, if I had anything on my mind or any events were coming up, you know, I could kind of like have my little say on what it, what was it, what was, what I thought of it or my views and opinions on the, on the events sort of thing. So I thought this video I'd re resurrect that. So um, here we go. Um, I've been falling in love with my Kindle again. Um, I just got a bit of spare cash, so I've stuck it in Amazon. And now I'm picking up um, free or cheap books. So at the moment on my TBR list, or no, the, what I'm currently reading, is I'm reading a book about um, Greek myths. Um, I think it's by Robert. Yeah, the a book from Robert Graves about um, all kinds of different Greek myths. Um, it's kind of a, a, a subject I've found always thought would be fascinating or interesting, um, but kind of never got round to it. So I thought I'd give it a go and kind of jump in at the the shallow end first and just start finding me way with some Greek myths and Greek history, so to speak. And I've also been reading a book um, called, now I've got it on the screen here because it's a bit of a long title, it's by Peter Oborn and it's called The Assault on the Truth, Boris Johnson and Donald Trump's Emergence of a New Moral Barbarianism. I'm only um, kind of halfway through the first chapter with that one, but um, <clears throat> it kind of starts to look at um, right-wing politics and how we've, we're, the world's getting a new form of right-wing politics and Boris Johnson and, and the likes of the current Republican Party in America and Donald Trump are kind of pushing that new way of thinking and or in my, in my opinion, trampling on everything political and trying to do everything their way rather than the norm that's um, previously happened. So um, from the first chapter, it sounds um, it's quite in, going to be quite interesting. So hopefully the rest of the book um, will be a good read and I can always tell you about it next Saturday too. Um, actual real books I've been um, reading... Well, the current one I've read is Escaping, to, Escaping Hitler's Bunker, and The Fate of the Third Reich's Leaders, and that's written by that gentleman there. I'm not going to say his name because I'll just make a right hash of it. Mr. Joe DeBoer will go for, <laughs> and that's published by Pen and Sword Books at... Twenty-five pound, and it's all it revolves all around um, like the final weeks of the World War Two, and when Hitler was um, down in his bunker with um, his other leaders and friends and wives and families and that sort of thing, and it looks at why he was down there, what his plans were, or what they thought his plans were. Um, what, how did they think they were going to get out of the situation? Was the war actually going to end or whether Germany could, by some remote chance, still win? And it looks at um, uh, whether they could escape or whether they're going to kill themselves and that sort of thing. And some of them have decided, well, we're going to escape or we'll move abroad or escape somehow like that. And it's a really interesting book. 
I must admit, there's a, there's a, you often see this sort of thing on the History Channel with a um, load of conspiracy theories. I thought, oh, I'm not really going to enjoy this. It'll be a bit, you know, as bad as the History Channel is. Um, it's going to be a bit weird and a bit odd. But actually, it's really good and um, quite informative. And like the civil service part of the the Third Reich, it goes into some of those characters and what they were like and what happened to them. So, it's, in my opinion, it's a really good read and um, I would highly recommend that. But that's what I'm currently reading at the moment. Um, I've also been in touch with um, my main publisher who's sending me a box of books next week which should arrive sort of midweek time and um, that'll be another one, uh, range of uh, World War II books and Victorian or 18th century, uh, 19th century books so looking at um, ver various forms of Victoriana and aspects and that sort of thing so that's going to be good and hopefully that'll be here middle of next week um, also I'm taking inspiration from this escaping Hitler's bunker in that I'm going to do some videos on um, people that came up during World War II and do some videos about each individual or groups of individuals. Um, I'll probably do the German side first um, and then we'll do the, the Allied people, the most well-known ones or the ones that are more interesting. And especially I'll throw in um, a few individuals that kind of I know well or or, or haven't, you know, what, not very well known publicly, but who I thought um, played a, a much bigger part in how the World War Two went. So um, look forward to that. Hopefully you can look forward to that. I'll be starting to do some of those videos from next week so they'll start filtering out in amongst all the others um other than that on the book side that's about it um we've just had the winter olympic start um i hope i'm not sure whether the winter olympics is two weeks long um like the summer games but um really looking forward to the olympics um, I enjoy the summer ones more, but I find the winter ones are just it's mainly just sliding around. But um, I, I do really enjoy it. I've been watching um, the curling yesterday, um, the biathlon today, which I find fascinating because they do all that heavy skiing and, and then suddenly they've got to do some rifle shooting at the uh, um, some targets 50 meters away and they have to kind of relax and keep their body still so they can shoot accurately and these targets are only about sort of that big so I find that fascinating as well and also um, they've been doing the speed skating which which is enjoyable um, I find it a little bit boring because I mean it's just racing around an oval but um been watching that and hopefully looking forward to another week or two of some decent sport happening on the telly because I'm a bit of a a sporting nut so um, I enjoy my televised sport quite a bit um, a couple of other things I want to have a little moan about before I go was um, Vladimir Putin uh, whether he's going to invade the Ukraine or not Obviously, we all hope he doesn't, but he's got, um, I think it's 130,000 troops massed on the border of Ukraine and lots of military hardware and tanks, and he's planning, to, or the impression is that he's um, planning to invade, but um, hopefully he doesn't. I, I personally don't think he will invade. Um, certainly not for the next two weeks. I mean, as he's friends with China, he's not going to want to take the spotlight away from China as they're holding their Olympics. Um, 
I don't think anybody really, even the Russians and the Chinese, want a, th um, a third world war. So um, I see it as just being like a minor or a military conflict. I think probably find Russia will invade and, you know, the Ukrainians will use Western weapons that have been supplied to them and they'll have a big set to for a couple of weeks and all things are then settled down a bit and then the Americans don't have the, or I personally think the Americans don't have the appetite for a big conflict or a big, big set to with Russia and China and certainly the Europeans don't, they're already fragmented and trying to go about it differently and doing things differently but um, hopefully uh, the Ukraine war issue will pass over and things might get more diplomatic and be solved sooner rather than later. And the other thing um, in this country we've got the government's uh, how can we say it failing and flagging and shooting itself in the foot all over birthday cake the sooner Boris Johnson and the Tories get out the better they really are a waste of time and um well, hopefully we will be seeing the end of Boris Johnson in the next couple of weeks because um, he surely can't stomach much more indecision and cock-ups and stupid drama that he seems to be creating. So um, I suppose what I want to say is I want to apologise to the rest of the world in that we've got this idiot in charge and unfortunately we can't seem to get rid of him at the moment. So other than that, that's all I have to say for this week. So um, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you've got any comments about anything, feel free to write them down below the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please feel free to do so. If you would like to support the channel so I can do some more stuff, um, you can make a contribution at buymeacoffee.com forward slash the history fella. Other than that, thank you very much and I shall see you in the next video.